Good day guys! So our topic for this day is about simple interest. So we have warm up, problem of the day, and lesson presentation. So we have four vocabulary words, interest, simple interest, principal, and rate of interest. So when we talk about simple interest, so when you borrow money from a bank, you pay interest for the use of the bank's money. When you deposit money into a savings account, you are paid interest. So, simple interest is one type of prepaid for the use of money. So, we have the formula for simple interest. I equals P times R times T. So, when we talk about I, that is simple interest. And P is our principal. So, it is the amount of money borrowed or invested. And R is the rate of interest. So, it is the percent charge or earn and t is time that the money is borrowed or invested so in example so in finding interest and total payment on a loan so to buy a car carla borrowed 15,000 US dollar for three years at an annual at an annual simple interest rate of nine percent how much interest will she pay if she pays the entire loan off at the end of the third year. What is the total amount that she will repay? So first is yung given. So yung I natin, yung P, yung R, and T. So ang tinatanong na first is how much interest will she pay if she pays the entire loan at the end of three years? And what is the total amount that she will repay? So first is find the interest she will pay. So we have the formula I equals P times R and times T. So that is our formula. So ang given po natin is ang P is 15,000 and ang R po natin is 9% at ang T po natin is 3 years. So we are going to substitute those four numbers in our equation. So I equals 15,000 times 0.09 times 3. So, we substitute the values in our P, R, and T. 0.09 for 9%. So, ang 0.09 is equivalent po siya sa 9% para madali po natin i-multiply yung decimal sa ating 15,000 and 3. So, I, using our calculator, is equivalent to 4,050. So, solve for I. So, Carla May will pay 4,050 US dollar in interest. So, you can find the total amount A to be repaid on a loan by adding the principal P to the interest I. So, our formula is P plus I equals A. So, that is principal plus interest equals amount. So, our P is equivalent to 15,000 plus 4,050 which is our I then equals A. So, sinobsigute po natin sa ating P and I yung 15,000 and 4,050. So, 15,000 plus 4,050 is equivalent to 19,050 and that is our total amount. So, that is A. So, therefore, Carla May will repay a total amount of 19,050 US dollar on her loan. So, next example, to buy a laptop computer, Elaine borrowed 2,000 US dollar for 3 years at annual simple interest rate of 5%. How much interest will she pay if she pays the entire loan off at the end of 3rd year? So what is the total amount that she will repay? So first is find the interest she will pay. So I equals P times R times T and that is our formula. So I is equivalent to 2,000 times 0.05 times 3. So, we substitute 2,000 and that is our principal and 0.05 is for 5% and times 3 and that is our 3 years. I is equivalent to 300 when we multiply 2,000 times 0.05 times 3. So, ang interest po natin is 300. So, Elaine will pay 300 US dollar in interest. Now, you can find the total amount A to be repaid on a loan by adding the principal P to the interest I. So, our formula, P plus I equals A. 
and that is principal plus interest equals amount. So, 2,000 plus 300 is equivalent to A, so we substitute principal which is 2,000 and I which is 300 or yung interest po natin. So, 2,000 plus 300 is equivalent to 2,300 and that is our total amount and we solve for A. So, therefore, Elaine will repay a total amount of 2,300 US dollar on her loan. So, additional example. So, determining the amount of investment time. So, Nancy invested 6,000 US dollar in a bond at a yearly rate of 3%. She earned 450 US dollar in interest. So how long was the money invested? So ang first is what are the given? So ang meron pa tayo is principal which is 6000 and yung rate of interest is equivalent to 3% and ang i natin or yung interest is 450. So ang nawawala po dito is yung year. So how long was the money invested? So, our formula is I equals P times R times T. So, we substitute those values in our formula. So, I is equivalent to 450 equals P and that is 6,000 US dollar times R which is 0 0.03 times T. And T is the missing value. So, 450 is equivalent to 180 because 6,000 times 0 0.03 using your calculator or oral is equivalent to 180. So, we divide both sides by 180. So, we derive with answer 2.5 equals T. So, therefore, the money was invested for 2.5 years or 2 years and 6 months. And another example... TJ invested 4,000 US dollar in a bond at a yearly rate of 2%. He earned 200 US dollar in interest. How long was the money invested? Kaparehas po ito sa ating previous example. So given our formula, I equals P times R times T. So I is equivalent to 200 US dollar. P is our 4,000 US dollar. R is equivalent to 2% and T yung nawawala. So, ang technique po natin, para malaman po natin kung sino yung I and P, always remember that P is greater than in our I. And R is always in percent form. So, meron po tayong percentage sign. So, para hindi tayo malito or makonfuse, so another technique po yan, and especially in reading um, problem solving. So, we substitute I is equivalent to 200 equals 4,000 which is our P times our rate is 0 0.02 so yan po yung equivalent for 2% and times T and T is our amazing value. So we substitute values into the equation. So next is 200 is equivalent to 80 times T because 4,000 times 0 0.02 is equivalent to 80 and we divide both sides by 80 to derive the answer T is equivalent to 2.5 so therefore the money was invested for 2.5 years or 2 years and 6 months so additional example how about computing total savings so John's parents deposited 1000 US dollar into a saving accounts as a college fund when he was born how much will John have in this account after 18 years at a yearly simple interest rate of 3.25%? So, our formula is I equals P times R times T. So, ito po yung gagamitin po nating formula to compute total savings of John. So, I is equivalent to P which is equivalent to 1,000 US dollar times rate which is 3.25% and that is equivalent to 0 0.0325 times 18 when we multiply 1000 times 0 0.0325 times 18 we derive with i equals 585 us dollar so we solve for i so now you can find the total so how so p plus i equals a so we use the formula to solve for total amount so p is equivalent to 1000 plus our interest kung yung na solve po natin is 585 equals a 
So, 1,000 plus 585 is equivalent to 1,585 for the total amount. So, therefore, John will have 1,585 US dollar in the account after 18 years. How about for this example? So check it out. Bertha deposited 1,000 US dollar into a retirement account when she was 18. How much will Bertha have in this account after 50 years at the yearly simple interest rate of 7.5%? So like our previous example, we use the formula I equals P times R times T. So I is equivalent to 1,000 US dollar. P is our principal and R is equivalent to 7.5% and T is equivalent to 50 years. So we substitute. So we have I equals 1000 times 0 0.075 which is our R. So yung 7.5% is equivalent to 0 0.075 times years which is equivalent to 50 years. So 1000 times 0 0.075 times 50 is equivalent to 3,750. So we solve I, so I or our interest is equivalent to 3,750. So therefore, now we can find the total amount. So P plus I is equivalent to A. So we use this formula to find the total savings or total account. So P is equivalent to 1,000 plus I which is our interest which is equivalent to 3,750. So therefore, 1,000 plus 3,750 is equivalent to 4,750 and that is our total amount for this example. So therefore, Berta will have 4,750 US dollar in the account after 50 years. So another example, additional example for finding the rate of interest. So we are looking for rate of interest. So, kanina is wala yung time, wala yung principal, wala yung total amount, and this time is we are going to find the rate of interest. So, Mr. Johnson borrowed 8,000 US dollar for 4 years to make home improvements. If he repaid a total amount of 10,320 US dollar, at what interest rate did he borrow the money? So, ang nawawala po dito is interest rate. So, we use the formula principal plus I which is our interest to find the total amount. So P is equivalent to 8,000 plus I is the missing value and then our A is the total amount which is equivalent to 10,320. So first the technique is we find the interest rate. So the interest is equivalent to 10,320 so transfer natin yung 8,000 so we have 10,320 minus 8,000 so we have the interest equivalent to 2,032 why? because we subtract 8,000 from both sides so we paid 2,320 in interest so use the amount of interest to find the interest rate so kanina wala tayong I wala din tayong R so, hindi po natin gamit, kayang pwedeng gamitin yung formula na I equals PRT. So, we first find the interest before solving our interest rate. So, so I equals P times R times T. So, pwede na natin siyang gamitin. Why? Because meron tayong I, meron na tayong P, and meron na tayong T. So, ang nawawala dito is R. So, I is equivalent to 2,320 na sinolve natin. And P is equivalent to 8,000 times R, which is yung ito yung nawawala, and then times 4 years. So, 2,320 is equivalent to 32,000 because 8,000 times 4 is equivalent to 32,000 times R or yung ating rate. So, we simplify and we divide both sides by 32,000. So, when we divide it, so we derive with answer. So when we divide it, so we come up with the answer 0 0.0725, which is our R. So when we transfer or we convert it to percentage, so we have Mr. John borrowed the money at annual entry rate. So Mr. Johnson borrowed the money at an annual rate of 7.25% or 7 and 1 fourth percent. 
because 0.0725 is equivalent to 7.25%. So yan po yung R. So for our last example, Mr. Mogi borrowed 9,000 US dollar for 10 years to make home improvements if it repaid a total amount of 20,000 US dollar at what interest rate did it borrow the money? So first, we use the formula P plus I equals A. So P is equivalent to 9,000 and I is a missing value and A is equivalent to 20,000 US dollar. So we use this formula to find our interest. So, P is equivalent to 9,000 plus I equals A which is equivalent to 20,000. So, we substitute A and P. And then, I is equivalent to 20,000 minus 9,000. So, we come up with 11,000 which is our interest rate. So, why? Because we subtract 9,000 from both sides. So, we paid 11,000 US dollar in interest. So, use the amount of interest to find the interest rate. So since naanam na po natin yung interest rate, so we can find also the interest rate since yun po yung ating hinahanap. So next solution, so we use the formula I equals P times R times T to find the R or interest rate or yung rate of interest. So I is equivalent to 11,000, P is equivalent to 9,000, R is yung nawawala, and T is equivalent to 10 years. So therefore, 11,000 is equivalent to 9,000 times R times 10. So we substitute 11,000, 9,000, and 10,000, and 10 in our formula. So 11,000 is equivalent to 90,000 times R. Why? Because 9,000 times 10 is equivalent to 90,000. And we divide both sides by 90,000. So we have 11,000 divided by 90,000 equals R. So na cancel po yung 90,000 sa left side. So we divide both sides by 90,000. So 11,000 divided by 90,000 is equivalent to 0 0.12. So Mr. Mogi borrowed the money at an annual rate of about 12.2%. So that's all guys. So thank you for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe to my YouTube channel.